Hello YouTube, this is just going to be a basic how-to video for the Source Live audio mixer. The first step in getting it up and running would be to go to the website and download the latest zip. Now the website is slam.flankers.net. After you've downloaded the latest zip file, um, you're going to want to create a folder in which to extract the files from. So. Just create slam on my desktop and then you can extract the files within the zip to that folder. Now it's as simple as just running slam.exe. Uh, some computers may alert you that this is an unrecognized application. There's nothing to worry about. Just click more info and run anyway. Now you're pretty much up and running. You can import songs by clicking import choosing a song. This can be an mp3 file or a WAV file. Click open and it will finish converting it. Now um, you might want to change the play key. I personally use X but to change it you just click play key. Start typing a play key. For example maybe you want it to be Q and that'd be it. But if you want it to be something else like a mouse wheel you can start typing mouse and then you can choose the correct um, button you'd like. Let's just uh, keep it X. Now all you have to do is click Start, OK, and run the game. Once we are in game you can go ahead and open the console using the tilde key. Now in console you're gonna type in exec slam just to get it running. Now you can type in LA to list all of the tracks you have available. Um, I only have one track and you can see here my first track is for the damage coda. Now you can load this song in and have it ready to play by either pressing 1 and enter and you'll see it says loaded or you can type in any of these tags here so for example damaged and it would have loaded that as well. Um, afterwards all you have to do is press your play key. Uh, I have mine set to X and it will play it in game. Additionally, once um, Source Live Audio Mixer is stopped, if you would like to add a bind, you can right click on the track, set bind, and then use the same procedure as before. For example, I can use Q. Now, whenever you press Q in game, it will load the track. However, keep in mind when you're setting this bind, you will be overriding uh, any other bind set to that key. So make sure you set it to an unused key. Thanks for watching.